Guys, we got the same principle we did yesterday. You stand up, but with two, two legs. Okay, so always your knee has to be pointed out, and you're on your tiptoes. If you be like this, it's good to control. If you win in the fight, you wanna just stall, kind of stall here to open, try to fake the, I try to open, but to pass here behind. Okay, try to keep your tiptoes on the floor here. Right. Then the same thing. I grab one sleeve. How my other hand go here or get the other sleeve? I don't like to grab the, the second sleeve too much because it'll be a fight with uh, uh, two hands. You're gonna try to break both grips. So for me, I prefer hold the belt or the gi here. All right. So I grab here. Now I'm gonna make a pendle forward. Always in the posture here. I don't go pendle like this because my, my base will be weak. So here, control the sleeve, belt or pants or the other sleeve, don't care. I'm gonna push my body forward and step here. And do the same thing. The big mistake people was doing yesterday at night time, they open so much the leg. Don't open. It's like you try to to take it out of your, your pants with the leg like this, you're never gonna be able. So try to fix like, to, to uh, find a, a base. I like to say like, shoulders parallel. Can be a little bit closer to be uh, open, but like shoulder parallel. Then I pull the arm up and here, the rest is the same. Here, don't try to grab here, like people try to grab here, you have to make two powers, one to grab, uh, to make the grip, and the one to push down. Just here by the knee. As soon as I open, step back, staple his leg on the floor, strong my two legs. And I start like going past in here, low, cross face, heavy. Okay? So why? Uh, so the only thing that changed was the beginning. How to stand up. Two feet, especially for the big guys, it's easier. Questions? Could you do one more time from this angle? Yeah. Thank you. You here. Hold. One sleeve. The second one, you can go the sleeve or I, I prefer the, the belt or the key here. Alright. I'm gonna make a pendle forward with my posture and jump with my two feet on the floor at the same time. Go here. Right. Pull him up, lock your elbow, hand on the knee, push down. I felt he open, step back, step on the floor. Now both heavy here. Dave? Yeah, so I did that to show that as that yesterday, mm -hmm. but each time I keep getting hooked around my ankle, so it's just a matter of I just need to push their knee down faster or knee down. Uh, out faster and normally what happened here when I stand up it's like okay here here like this right what I'm gonna do Go out here kick out of course it be a fight it's not like we do the position of course the guy who tried to hook all right uh, as soon as you open the, the, your goal is keep his body off the floor. Then you got, you're gonna use your power and his own way to break his posture. Okay, so when you open, you have that vein because you're on top and he's on the bottom like open, like his leg go down. So his hand's not gonna have the, the same grip anymore. And then kick back. Question? Will you pop up? Are you like, are you rolling onto your knees? Like you have the sleeve, you have the gi, and then you, or is it, or is it like, I don't know, I feel like there's, I'm missing something. No. Just this. Oh. Is it here? You have to go forward, and stand up. But you have to control. Remember, the sleeve 
you're gonna keep control this lead from the beginning of the position to pass the guard. You're just gonna let this leave, doesn't matter what side, but just when you have the side mount control. Or in the worst case, half guard. Right? Let's go, guys.